we're here uh, doing a bit of testing at Morgan Park. We could basically call this place our home track, uh, leading up to the next round of the Australian Superbike Championship. And I'm, I'm doing a few laps out on the V4R. Today is really its first hit out. So I think it's been, we're reasonably happy with, with the first day. Probably, um, you know, normally people keep it a secret, but we're sort of a second and a half away from uh, a really good lap time for, for, for in the race. So I think for its first day uh, in the early stages, it's not so bad. If I go back to 2003 and four, when I was uh, rode alongside Loris Caparossi in the GP team, honestly, it feels like we're sort of back on the bike from, from that era. Um, as new and as classy as it looks, I mean, um, it's the V4 and I, I, to me, it feels like that stage of a motorcycle. The electronics are uh, quite good for a street bike. That's, that's what we're on but um, it's not far off the way the engine felt on the GP bike back then. With the Australian Superbike Championship, our, our rules, the bikes are based on on-road bikes, so the V4R can be bought um, off the shelf and really the only changes we, we do are like a uh, fork internals, uh, the rear shock, the exhaust system, the terminionis, and basically it's dialing it in, so it's honestly not far off. It's amazing how far the bikes have come over the years now. If I look back to when I first started in World Superbike, the bike you bought off the shelf and the bike we were racing was a was a huge step, but now the bikes have got so much power, you, the last thing you're really looking for these days is power. Um, but saying that, um, like I say, we're in very early stages here with this bike, and we've seen the few laps that we did on it at Tail and Bend, it has a little bit more top speed than the 1299 FE. Uh, it's all about taming the beast now and, um, and making, making the rider feel comfortable on it. Well, I've got a bit of a smile on my face because um, we're here at Morgan Park dialing in and uh, if something magical happens and we find um, a great setting in the bike and um, I'm running around on lap record pace, <laughs> you'd probably nearly see me do a wild card.